Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. Today is Wednesday the 22nd of December. Oh goodness. I've just finished editing yesterday's video. Even though it I didn't film that many clips, it's quite a long video. It is a long video because I was chatting as I was bead weaving and apparently I can talk about nothing for a very long time. Um, so that is currently uploading. It's taken me all morning to edit and it's currently midday so that's quite annoying i got some makeup on today what is this christmas no not yet but almost let me put some glasses on so you can no longer see it oh wow these are filthy that's why i wear so much makeup not because my glasses are filthy but because i put my glasses on and then you can I'm, i have a t-shirt on under this i'm cleaning my glasses on my t-shirt under my jumper i'm not yeah i put so much makeup on because well one it's fun to do sometimes and two i put my glasses on that you can't see it anymore so i may as well wear a lot of glasses. Got it. Thanks YouTube. And um, yes, so today's plan of the day, um, well half the day is gone, it's already 12 p.m. Um, Mario has given me a mission. So I need to go get rosemary and oats. Fun. So I might um, go for a jaunt to Tesco because over there there's also a home bargains and a pets at home. Um, so I can get the bub some Christmas presents, so we can open some Christmas, so they can open some Christmas presents on Christmas morning, so I could get them some toys and treats and stuff. Although, my sister bought them a crap ton of dreamies, so maybe they don't need treats, in all fairness. Um, but yeah, I need to go on a jaunt, which is fun, and yeah, see what I mean? Makeup disappeared, you can barely even see it. It's because my glasses need to be here, but because they're here, it blocks most some of the thing. You, it, it, it highlights my under eyes. Didn't think about that when I got these glasses, did I? No, I did not. It's cold as balls today, which to some of you is not very cold. Um, currently, we're at one degree. So, you know, positively summer for those of you in Sweden. I jest. Um, and other very cold countries, obviously. And that is Celsius, because... Um, I don't work in Fahrenheit. I have been knitting a bit on my advent project, hence the project bag being there, because yesterday I finished Mario's jumper, which means I need to block it, but I'm going to go out for my walk first and then come back and block the jumper. Um, Cause yes, that just makes more sense in my mind. But I, so I will show you and um, show off the jumper to you when we get back because I want to go now because it's not raining and it's meant to rain at some point today and I don't know when that is. Plus both the bubs are asleep up on the bed so it's easier for me to escape and um, keep them out of this room because they're not allowed to be in here unsupervised as you saw in yesterday's video. Kimchi got her head stuck in the lights. I might do some more bead weaving as well um, because I'm at that point where I feel a bit lost but it's okay because I won't feel lost tomorrow because I have to go into the bakery. Uh, Mary's going to Mary's going to, um, yeah, has a wholesale delivery that needs to drop off, and so I'm going to be packing up everyone else's orders. Uh, that is tomorrow, and also Christmas Eve. Um, I am going to be the doting wife slash free assistant, uh, and I'm going to be jamming out to Christmas music while he goes off and drops off wholesale delivery, and yeah, I'm going to be there for people to collect, and also for me to pack up everyone's orders. I think I just said the exact same thing a few times. Yeah, it's fun. it was fun doing a bit of makeup this morning. Although I feel like my face powder is too pale for my face, which is weird because that never happens. Uh, yeah, don't know. Turn. Shouldn't have gone to Tesco. I knew I shouldn't have gone to Tesco. Why did I go to Tesco? I do not know. <laughs> it was really busy. Um, got the bits we needed to get. Got some stuff for the cats, but everywhere had dog stuff and not much cat stuff. Rude. Also, I don't know where my mild magic shawl has gone. Probably the same place my fingerless mitts have gone. Very annoying though, because my scarf I wore not as warm. But yeah. Um, Went to go to the bakery to pick a pork pie. 
Forgot it's Wednesday. Apparently my brain is still in like Christmas week 2020 because in my head Christmas day is on a Friday. It's not. It's on a Saturday. It's currently Wednesday and I can't go get it tomorrow or Christmas Eve so that really sucks. It's my own fault. I should have got it yesterday but yeah. Right, I'm gonna eat some lunch and then I'll chat to you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I know this isn't a very flattering angle for me but it's the one that we've got so it's the one we're dealing with. So, uh, yesterday evening I finished Mario's jumper, yes! And because I'm a good little knitter, all the ends are woven in because I do it as I go. I finished the first sleeve, I wove in those ends, then I knit the second sleeve and then finish that. Wove in those ends, when I finish the body, I wove in all those ends. I'm very good. It took a grand total of only three balls of yarn, which is mad. So the yarn that I used, oh, this label's broken. Come on. Uh, so the yarn that I used is, I'll tape it back up. Um, King Cole Forest Recycled Aran. <clears throat> it is 35% wool, 20% acrylic, 20% polyamide, and 25% viscose. 35% wool, did I say that? I think so. And there's approximately 300 meters per 100 grams, which is odd that it's an Aran, but hey, it's, I'm rolling with it. It works, it fits, Mario has tried it on, and I'm going to go and block it. And we've got a bit of stretchy room in there, which is good. So I'm going to block it out and down, and uh, yeah, they are they are snug sleeves. I won't lie, <clears throat> I did a stretchy cast off, and they are they are snug sleeve fitted. Fitted is the word. They're not tight, but usually he's got really. I guess they're kind of just like this jumper. This is a fitted sleeve, but every other jumper he's got has a really bag. Well, not really baggy, but has a baggy sleeve. So this will be a nice change for him. But yeah, we have two sleeves. We have a completed jumper in time for Christmas. We have time to block it and we have time to um, for it to dry, which is very exciting. I can't believe I finished it in time for Christmas. Mario said he knew that I would finish it in time for Christmas, which is good because he clearly has more faith in me than I have in myself. But I genuinely didn't think that I would finish it in time for Christmas and that I would be panic knitting it. Uh, while we were driving around delivering, but um, this sleeve just grew so quickly, and yeah, donezo mate, donezo! How exciting. Right, I'm going to go down the dye shed and get the washing up bowl that I use to um, collect the water out of the bottom of my spin dryer, hoping there's not a spider in it. That has happened before, it was terrifying. Um, I get spiders down the dye shed, it's the worst thing ever, I hate them. And then, yeah, I have two bowls of this, one left over from this jumper and one because I bought a different colour but they sent me this one, which is fine. Um, so I'm thinking I might knit our friend's baby a little jumper for at some point. And I'll just make it massive and then it'll fit him at some point because so far every time I've knit this boy a jumper, it's been too small for him because he's bigger than the average bear. So it's larger isn't it? Oh no, it's smarter than the average bear. I mean, he's probably also that. His parents are very clever. But I just thought that would be a really cute little jumper. Um, and yeah, I could copy the stitch pattern for it, really, couldn't I? And then Mario and he could be matching. That would be really cute. But um, yeah, I'm going to go and block this.
just realized is that I've never been taught how to block things. I'm going to attempt to go on The Sims again and see if it sticks. It might not stick, and if it doesn't, then that's fine, but I'm trying again. Um, I've never been taught how to block things. So, I soak it for about 10 minutes. I've got soak will wash, we should have to rinse. A lot of dye came out of that jumper. A lot of color came out of that jumper, which is um, slightly concerning, but hey, such is the way sometimes. Um, but yes, just be aware if you're using it in colour work. Maybe don't. I don't know. Um, but yeah, a lot of colour came out of it. And then I popped it in the washing machine on spin. I didn't wash it, I put it on spin just to get all the excess water out. There was a lot of it. And now it's very nice and it's nice and soft. And I've laid it out on my blocking mats and I've pinned it, but I don't think I have enough pins. So I don't know, um how it's going to turn out but hopefully it'll be fine I need to get some more of those like I've got T-pins but I need to get some more of the chunky chunky pins because I don't have enough of them but yeah it's blocking Kimchi thought it was a good napping place and I was allowing her to you know be company because well, there's cat hair everywhere so why not have someone a new gift and then she started to attack the ends that I haven't yet snipped off because I do that once it's dry. Um, I don't know why. Almost to like set them in place. I don't know if that makes sense. Probably doesn't. But hey, ho. Um, yeah. So it's just currently blocking and I've shut the door to the spare room so the bubs can't go in their favourite snuggle spot. Which makes me feel a bit guilty. But I also don't want them to ruin this. Because I've... Uh, I left one of my drawers open and I knit an, a, a nuke cardigan a while ago now and I haven't worn it in a really long time because um, it just looked perpetually grubby. I don't know if dye on some jeans I was wearing or something has come off on them but Kimchi got in the drawer and has been like munching on the button and like, I don't know, it's now not, it's now not a great, um, great looking cardi anymore so I either need another one or suck it up and knit something else something different hi Amiso what's up I don't know but yeah I'm gonna go on the sims for a little bit and then um, maybe open some advents because I need to edit this video tonight because tomorrow I'm being picked up at 8 a.m. which has been my average getting out of bedtime for the last couple of days Ooh, Mary has just got home. How fun. So the mystery of the lost shawl is over. It was behind the freezer because it was on top of the... We have chest freezer. It was behind... It was on top of the chest freezer for some reason because I never put it there. Um, and Mary went in the freezer and knocked it behind the freezer and then didn't think to pick it up. But, yeah. <laughs> it's now... It has been found. He knew exactly where it was as soon as he came home. So... Not lost forever. Unlike my fingerless mitts, which are still lost. And I don't know where they've gone. But yeah, playing The Sims. It's quite fun. I'm just, I feel very tired today. I think it's um, getting towards the end of Vlogmas. And I'm not complaining about it. I enjoy doing it every year. But it gets to around this time. And then you think, hmm, it's tiring. <laughs> it's really hard. It's hard work doing Vlogmas. And it sounds very complainy. And I don't mean to sound very complainy. But, um, yeah, I think that's just what's happening. I'm just... But tomorrow I'm doing something different, so that'll be exciting and good. But, yeah, because I'm not really working, I can't really show you what I'm doing, because I'm not working, so... Yeah. I'm thinking of putting um, a load of yarn that I want to de-stash, and also some skeins I just have, um, that I've dyed, just up in the shop for after Christmas. Um... That week after Christmas I might just take a picture of them put them in the shop see if anyone wants them and then I'd ship them out that week and if no one wants them then that's fine and if people do want them then that's fine because I've just got a bag of yarn that I don't think I'm going to use so yeah might have a bit of a de-stash between Christmas and New Year that might be good and then I can move around my craft room and uh, get that all sorted out Hey folks, we have the weird angle of me on the floor and it's dark now. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I played The Sims for a bit, then Marion came home and I stopped playing Sims. 
and then it's dark so yes sorry about that time just keeps passing as time tends to um yeah I need to edit this video tonight because Marie's coming and picking me up at eight o'clock tomorrow morning which isn't that early but considering editing takes a really long time um I won't be able to get up and get it done before then tomorrow because <sighs> yeah editing these vlogs takes well today's vlog took two hours to edit so that was what all morning was so yeah vlogmas is quite intense well how I do vlogmas is quite intense anyway and I'm not saying it for woe is me, life so hard. I'm choosing to do this. No one is forcing me to do this. And I get a small amount of money from YouTube for doing this. Um, admittedly, not that much, but uh, better than a kick in the teeth. So yeah, I'm not bitching and complaining. I've just got to the point of Vlogmas where I'm tired of Vlogmas. <laughs> I'm sure those of you who do Vlogmas and watch my Vlogmas can relate but hopefully tomorrow I'll wake up and be in a much perkier mood. Um, I'm going to do some advent opening. I've got day 22 of the Chromatic Yarns advent calendar. I won't lie, I already opened it off camera but didn't look at the yarn. I unsealed it and then thought, oh wait no, that's literally what I've come up here to do. Uh, Chromatic Yarns is my own hand dyed yarn. I dye colours inspired by Dungeons and Dragons. Yep. This colourway is called Calm Emotions and uh, yeah, I really like it, it's really pretty. It's like a very pale mint green with a pale pastel reddish colour and some of the skeins will be more mint green than other skeins and so on and it's just because of how it picked it up in the pot. It loves to focus on that mail sack, doesn't it? Sure does! Right, uh, and then moving on to the Fibre Fox advent calendar. I did have the thought, maybe I'll decide this when I've laid them all out, of making a sorrel jumper, because I bought the pattern last year, and it would be fun. And I would have enough yarn. So day 22, I've got two days left after this day to open. How sad. This colourway is called First Snowfall. And it looks to be an undyed yarn, and then we've got those navy speckles back. Um, and then more on the other side, which are really pretty. And some more turquoisey blue speckles as well. And yeah, super pretty, the aquary speckles. I'll show you these colours again tomorrow because this is not very good lighting, but you know, it's just how life works out. That colourway was called First Snowfall. I don't know if I said that. I probably did. I'll edit this and realise. Yeah, you've said that already such is life. Uh, next up we have the Burnham Blend Advent Calendar. I just hit myself in the head with it. Um, this was sent to me for free. Well, not this one. The other one was. I bought this one myself and gifted one to my sister. And day 22. Tea of the day. And the tea of the day is, ooh, dark chocolate chili chai. Smooth chocolate that packs a chili punch. Sri Lankan black tea, cocoa nibs, cocoa shells, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, chili, natural flavouring. Seeing as I already think that the Burnham Blend um, chai is a little too spicy for my taste buds, I'm sure the chili chai will be extra too spicy for my taste buds. But I do have a husband downstairs who loves a bit of spice, so he will very much enjoy it. And I've got two days left to open and then I need to go through and work out which teas I've had and which ones I haven't and <laughs> oh it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun um but yes dark chocolate tea time mm, interesting if that sounds like a tea that you will enjoy I'll pop a link to it in the description box below and uh, yeah they've got their boxing day sale coming up so keep an eye out for that but yes that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed watching. If you did, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I am posting a video every day in the run up to Christmas and you've got two videos left after this one. And leave me a comment down below the vloggy check-in. We love to see it. What have you been up to? How is the gift knit knitting, gift crafting? Let's not be, um, 
I can't think what the word I want is. Anyway, do, how is your gift crafting going? Are you, do you think you're managing to get it done? Have you almost got it done? Have you done it? Please work faster. If you've not done it, you're running out of time. Not to panic you, but to panic you slightly. Also, you can just gift a half-made gift and say, TBC, to be continued. Um, vloggy check-in. If you'd like to follow me on social media, links, as always, can be found in the description box below, along with any other information that I think you might need. Thank you so, so much for watching. I've enjoyed spending my day with you, and I will see you very soon in tomorrow's video. Bye!